cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, here with the coach, Coach Brian. Coach, what's up? How much today? What are we doing today? Oh, today, what did we do? Today, we walked you through uh, one of your days of Olympic weightlifting. Good. Successful day, I must say. Man, I missed that overhead squat. Oh! Yeah, yeah. one miss <laughs> isn't a big deal, but really, all in all, it was pretty good. Okay, so what was the point? Like, what were we actually doing today? Because some people might look at the weights and be like, oh man, don't you like lift a lot more when it comes to the squat or whatnot? What was the, the purpose, the training goal? Uh, today's training goal was more like uh, from the hang day, so like a power development day, yep. not as heavy as yep. some of the other days, uh, so uh, an opportunity to work on your technique uh, while also developing more bar speed. Yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> Brian, what are we seeing here? What's going on? What's this workout today? Talk me through it, son. Well, your first exercise was a power snatch from the hang. This is true. True. Uh, then you ended up doing overhead squat. Yeah. So we, we combined the two movements uh, and it looked pretty good today. Honestly, no bullshit now. Tell me, how does it look compared to last time? Or like, what, like what's the progression like? It's looking a lot better. So your extension is getting better. Oh. It's getting more complete. So as a result of a better extension, you're getting under the bar quicker, which is great. Uh, and then again, we're still trying to groove that overhead squat, getting a lot of reps, uh, getting you comfortable with the overhead squat in the bottom position. Yeah. And week by week, you, you get better at that as well. So I'm pretty happy with that progress. Brian, I seem to get stuck at the bottom of the snatch. Can you talk a little bit about that with that overhead overhead squat that when I fumbled, I let go of the weight, okay, I thought I had a, I was trying to stick my head through, Yeah. coming really, out of the snatch, but it Really, me. really, really common. Okay. Uh, I think most people, especially when they have some mobility restrictions overhead, or even a squat restriction, so if you lack mobility in the ankle, the hip, and especially the shoulder, it will show itself in an overhead squat. Um, so that's why we work on it, uh, but particularly if you, do the descent or the eccentric of the squat too quickly, you might lose it forward. And if you come out of the hole too quickly, which I think you did in your case, you'll you'll lose it forward as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I was a little too excited. I'm like, oh, this feels pretty good today. Let me, and then I lost control. And you lost, that, that, just and, like uh, that. Okay, so also talk to me about the weight. Like we're now on a back squats, right? Uh, just in terms of the load used, what are we trying to work on here? Because we squat pretty much like every day. Well, that's right. We day. we do squat very frequently. There's a lot of frequency of the squat uh, in our training week, but it's not always heavy. Like today, for example, was a back squat at 90%, which is 90% of our clean and jerk, which is actually not very heavy for a back squat. Right. Uh, and we were only doing it for three reps. Right. So it's it's comfortable, it's smooth, we're working on your tempo, whether yeah. or not you did it under control, yep. you're working on your depth, yep. uh, and it's more or less to regain some of our range of motion at the end of the workout and prepare you uh, for future training this week. This almost sounds like it's making too much sense it's like squat for recovery let me just say I am feeling I'm excited one of the aspects that I really like also about this weightlifting because it's all new fun and different is that one you pretty much PR always because I'm starting from nothing right yeah I'm starting from some very light weight when your best snatch is a question mark <laughs> right every workout tends to be a PR and that's amazing and also so the next two movements are actually totally new like it's my first time doing them right the snatch uh, pull from block so just explain like that what it's used for and then we'll go on to the next one so the snatch pull from the blocks is a way to work on your start position your pickup and your extension you know your triple extension but we're doing it from an elevated surface yep. and again it's not too heavy we're just grooving this pattern we're working on exaggerating your extension right which is something that you uh, struggle with on the snatch on that and, snatch, and you know we're just trying to get more repetition and more volume in that position okay uh, so you did well with that today and then finally this one I really liked talk me through it the behind the head press some people are gonna say yo man you're gonna snap your shit up that looks dangerous talk me through it actually felt great on the shoulders by the end my shoulder kind of felt yeah like so a pump. we did a snatch grip behind the neck press which is not for everybody I'll, I'll warn you right now um, if you do not have adequate shoulder range of motion um, if you don't have you know great external rotation um, this is contraindicated you're not gonna want to do this Big exercise words. right but if, if you do have the mobility it is a great assistance exercise providing you do it you do it properly right uh, with an appropriate amount of weight which is what you did right so it's a great way to, to drill that head inside position because you're starting with your head inside the bar is behind your neck yeah shoulders are squeezed together you're, you're starting with your head inside 
and all you have to do is press it up straight. So it's a great way to, to work uh, that shoulder yep. uh, and that lockout position for the snatch. For that snatch and that overhead squat. Yeah, exactly. So far, when it comes to the weightlifting, how am I doing, coach? I would say you're ahead of schedule. I like that. I will yeah. take that. I will take that to the bank. Yeah. So, 400 pound snatch uh, within two months? Uh, no, don't quote me on that. Okay, okay. I was, uh, that was actually giving me the title of the video. Omar wrestles with a 400 pound snatch. You can wrestle with it, but it might not move off the ground too high. <laughs> Guys, that is the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And follow Coach Brian. Make him your MCM. He also now, if you tag him, he'll be commenting on some of your Olympic lifts and whatnot. So, Brian, what's your Instagram? It's B underscore Marsh 27. Follow that Instagram, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Oh! <laughs>